Hey everybody, so I want to come on here and do a quick breastfeeding update for you guys. Um, I apologize about the way that I look, but um, I've been really emotional over the past couple of days, and especially just in the last hour or so that I've been by myself. Um, I haven't had time by myself in a while, but um, breastfeeding is just not going the way that I thought it was going to go. Um, I just assumed everything was going to be smooth sailing. My milk was going to come in and I was going to be able to nurse her and satisfy her. And she was going to grow like and gain weight just like, you know, she should. But as, um, after she left, after we left the hospital, she had lost, um, 0.8, um, <clears throat> of her birth weight, um, so that she left, she left at um, eight pounds even, and by Monday for our first pediatrician appointment, she was already down to seven five, which is over a pound, which isn't good. Um, I thought that I had plenty of colostrum to you know help her grow and you know to sustain her and everything, but apparently it wasn't enough. They had me supplement with a little bit of formula in the hospital before we even left because she was already losing weight um, quicker than they had wanted. So they started me with a syringe and a little bit of the pre-mix, those little bottles that they give you in the hospital, and had me supplement while she was nursing. Just kind of put a little bit in her mouth, um, like as she was sucking to help, so it was still stimulating my supply. So I was doing that for a few days, um, thinking that that was going to work. Um, but like I said, by the time um, she had her first pediatrician appointment, she had lost even more weight. So... Um, I was turning to, you know, not only breastfeeding even more, but I was turning to pumping to see, you know, if, how, how much I was actually getting because I was really unsure, um, for the first, you know, I think four days after she was born, it was still colostrum. Um, by day five, my milk started to come in. It started to turn white. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a cough too. Um, it started to turn white. But I still wasn't getting um, nearly enough um, to satisfy her. You know, they sh they say they should get about two ounces to two and a half ounces per feeding. But I was only pumping between both breasts, um, maybe a half an ounce to three quarters of an ounce, um, you know, from each side. And, you know, that they, they say after your milk comes in that you should get at least, you know, two ounces from each side and then it should increase from there. Um, I did realize, you know, after a C-section that, you know, it could take longer for your milk supply to come in. So I waited, you know, six days. <coughs> Excuse me. So I waited six days um, thinking, you know, it was just going to take a little bit longer due to the fact that I had a C-section instead of a vaginal birth. Um, it still, you know, hasn't come in um, t nearly to what I thought it was going to be. And she's nine days old today. So, um, I've had to supplement even more with formula, you know, in ways that I'd never thought I was going to have to do. And it absolutely kills me every single time that I have to give her formula. I mean, she's a great nurser. <coughs> her latch is great. We have no problems there. Um, except for, well, maybe a little bit of a problem. Sometimes she, uh, I have, um, a little bit of flat flat nipples not they're not super bad or anything so <clears throat> she would have trouble getting on and getting a good suck suck or a, a good latch or a good whatever you want to call it um so i turned to the nipple shield which has seemed to really help with that but she still doesn't seem to be getting enough from from me even though they say you know I, obviously pumping um they don't it doesn't get as much out as um, a newborn can can suck from you <coughs> excuse me sorry so um she she still wasn't getting enough from from me even though she you know nursing from me instead of me just pumping and giving it to her um through a syringe which um i kept from the hospital <coughs> i didn't want to have to use a bottle I didn't want to have to, you know, expose her to that, but um, I've had no choice. I've had to give her formula more than just what I was giving her in a, through a syringe um, in the hospital. 
Um, I've had to, you know, take those little bottles and actually put, you know, the two ounce pre-mixed ones and actually put them into a bottle and give it to her, the whole thing to her because she just absolutely does not, she's just not satisfied from what, from what I'm producing. Sorry, I've been crying and stuff, so I'm a little stuffy as well. Um, I know that, you know, I have, as a mother, you have to do what you have to do to, you know, ensure that your, your child's growing and everything like that. But, you know, I just always assumed that, you know, I would have enough supply to, 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 to do that on my own and not have to give her formula. <clears throat> I'm trying right now. I just, um, was it yesterday that I got it in or the day before yesterday I got them in on Thursday. Um, I ordered some fenugreek, um, capsules and I'm taking, um, those two, two capsules a day, two capsules, three times a day. Um, and I've been doing that for two days now and it seems to be helping maybe a smidge, but not really, not a lot at all. Um, my, my breasts just don't ever really seem to get, you know, that full feeling. Um, maybe just a little bit around the nipple area, they get a little firm, but nothing like I thought it was going to be. Um, and yeah, she just isn't getting enough from, from me. Um, and after I left the hospital, there's a, a couple reasons why I thought, you know, that maybe my milk supply wasn't coming in. Um, in the beginning, maybe I wasn't drinking enough water, but I've increased that to, you know, anywhere from two to three liters a day. I have these gigantic cups that I drink, and then I bought a bottle, um, a, a one liter bottle that I just keep refilling and using that so that I know that I'm getting enough water. <coughs> also, um, I had some really, really bad swelling in my legs um, after my C-section, um, and the doctor prescribed me water pills for that. Um, but he never said anything to me about, you know, that, that, that could affect my supply, but I did some research, um, online and, you know, they said that, that, you know, reduces the water in your body. Obviously that's the whole point of it. So maybe that was affecting my supply. So I stopped doing that. I've increased my water intake. <coughs> I'm, um, taking, you know, um, ibuprofen and I, when they, they sent me home from the hospital, um, with Percocet, which they told me was, was safe. So I didn't really think anything of it. Um, uh, but I did some research on it and that can also, you know, affect your supply. Um, it can, uh, you know, get transferred into your breast milk. So I've completely stopped taking that. Um, I can't believe they would even give that to me, you know, knowing that I'm nursing and knowing that there's a chance that it could <coughs> be transferred to my daughter. Um, so yeah, I stopped taking that, um, thinking that that was going to help. Um, but yeah, everything is just kind of really overwhelming right now. Um, I'm hoping that the fenugreek helps. I tried using the mother's milk, um, tea. <coughs> Gosh darn it. When I talk, it really hard. It makes me cough. Sorry. Cause my throat gets really dry. Um, I tried the mother's milk tea, but I absolutely hate black licorice makes me want to gag so I can't um, handle the taste of that fennel that's in the tea so I, I can't drink that um, one of the girls that I follow on here um, Tracy she um, told me about maxi milk um, it's a little drops that you put in your water I'm thinking about trying that um, and then I also <coughs> <coughs> I also emailed my OB you know, letting him know that I'm struggling with this um, and I'm hopefully he'll have a suggestion for me. Um, but like I said, her latch is good. Everything's good. Um, but it's just my milk supply is just not coming in. And, you know, I have to do what I have to do, giving her formula, but I, I hate it every single time. Like I said, I, I absolutely hate it. Um, but for now, that's really all update, all the update I have on breastfeeding. Um, she goes for her two week appointment, um, on March 5th or her two, a two, another two week checkup on March 5th. She'll be a little over two weeks, but anyways, that is all I have for now. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, um, on Facebook, um, and let you know how everything's going. All right. Bye guys.